Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. This video is how to do a basic content audit so you can identify the similar topics and create SEO silos with the content you've already published on your WordPress blog. Now, an SEO silo is an internal linking structure that allows you to connect the relevant posts on your website in such a manner that it drives up your best posts for the highest potential traffic. It'll drive it up in the rankings by kind of leveraging your linking structure. Now, I've already created a video that explains the structure. It's a whiteboard video. I'll show you how to go find that video next in a second. But right now you need to know this video is about how to actually export all of the content from your site. We're going to get into spreadsheets and you're going to see exactly how to work with the output from a couple of tools you're going to learn about to actually identify the posts and where those links go. So first thing we're going to jump on the computer. I want to show you where to find the SEO silo video. If you're on YouTube, simply search for Miles Beckler SEO silo click search and you'll see it's this top one the SEO silos made easy this will teach you on the whiteboard the basic linking structure then you need to use a specific plugin inside of your WordPress site it's called export all URLs is the plugin you can see it's right here um, it's got this kind of I don't even know what that icon is but this is the one just so you know when you see it um, when you're inside of your WordPress dashboard which is where I'm at here it lives under the settings tab and then you just go to export uh, all URLs this is what it brings up for you is this listing here so what I've done is I've clicked posts and then I've wanted the URLs and the titles if you have multiple categories definitely dump out your categories I run everything in one blog category so that doesn't matter and then we want published and that's it choose a CSV click export now which I'm not going to do because I've already done it and what you end up getting is a basic CSV which is a spreadsheet that looks just like this it's pretty much barren there's no real information on it other than every single post that you have it's got the title of the post here in column a it's got the actual URL of the post and you can see it does a little bit of weird things with like the ampersands and maybe the apostrophes not a big deal you'll know what you're working with here so this is the base of what we work with right this is the core of the audit is the whole uh what did i create what posts do i even have it organizes them here in alphabetical order for you and then you need to start putting in some work on the spreadsheet this is what my spreadsheet looks like now that i've spent a lot of time and I actually hired some help to organize all of the ideas and this is your goal this is where you want to get to and there's two new columns that were added we have the main tags and i'll explain exactly what that's for in a second and then we have the silos column and you can see up top i've added the tags that's relevant to the main tags and then i've also added the silos and you're going to learn exactly how to work with this now the key idea here to get started is that you want to group your content into between six and eight main categories now i don't use the category structure because i want all of my blog posts in one blog category i use tags in order to identify each and every post so what i do is i go through the spreadsheet line by line and i identify what is the topic of this post each post is able to go in one tag only that's a big challenge i'm telling you this is really challenging but it's very important for you to really focus in on the six to eight core categories of content that you're publishing you create a tag name and then you go back into every single post and you add that tag let me show you what that looks like on my spreadsheet here and trust me this this took a lot of time to figure out i've i've worked with it and reworked with it many times so we're in this column here and you can see facebook advertising i have a mindset category i have an online business search engine marketing sales funnels um, email marketing and i think that's it i've got my kind of master list of tags here and again i'm not I didn't declare these as what I was going to write about before I started my blog. I simply started writing. I simply started putting these posts out. I simply started sharing what I know, what I'm interested in writing about, what I feel is helpful to you. And now I've looped back and I've been able to categorize them all into these categories. I think I have seven. One, two, three. Yep, I have seven total. 
Then you go into every single URL and you add the tag. So you actually tag the post with one of seven tags. Six to eight is your goal. So what I've been able to do once I tagged it is I had my developer go into my child theme and customize it to where he added the different tags right here on top of my blog roll. So if you're on milesbeckler.com and you click blog, the first thing you see now is my little tagging organization here up top. And if you want to go search all of my posts that are about Facebook advertising, you simply click that link that he hard coded into my blog roll. And now it brings you to the tag blog roll. You can see up here in the URL, it says tag, and then it's the Facebook advertising tag. So these are all of my posts that are about Facebook advertising. And if we go back, you can see this works the same for email marketing. You can go and you'll see all of my posts about email marketing, etc., etc. So the first key takeaway is that you are able to use this effort, this audit to create better user experience for your individual readers. And that's what I've done here. So when someone gets to my blog and they look at my blog, they can find the topic they're most interested in. I can also display these types of um, navigation in different areas areas on my blog if I want. But that's not the core of it. What we really want to do here is build out the silos and that's the next level. You see, we need to create these first six groups to eight groups or six tags to eight tags that we group all our content in to then identify the sub topics where our silos will live. Now, our, my silos, I'm still building this out, is in the letter D. And so far, I've identified that I have a niche-based silo, blogging, law of attraction, personal development, opt-in pages, and SEO. Now I'm not done. These are just the first, I don't know, six or five, six of them that I'm currently working on that are the easiest for me to identify. I go through one at a time and I'm working the silo structure that you learned about in the previous video or the video you'll watch next on the whiteboard where we discussed how silos work. I implement that linking strategy based on what I identify here. You can see I'm color coding them, right? I've got the YouTube is red, my niche posts are yellow, personal development is blue and the SEO is green. And you can see over here in my silos, I've identified which post is the top of my silo. Now I've identified this is the top of my silo right here. And what I'm ultimately going to be doing is, oops, I didn't mean to open that. Now I go look through all of my other links that are blue. I will go to this post and make sure it links back to the top of my silo. Then I go into the next post that's been tagged for personal development under my mindset category. I'll open it up and I will make sure it links back to the top of my silo. Then I go into the next one. I think you're noticing a pattern. I go into this post here. I go in and make sure that the content in that post links back up to the top of my silo. So then you'll see I've got the top of silo identified in column E. So I have my SEO post here. My learn SEO is my the top of my SEO silo. And you can see everywhere that's green, I would go in to the actual post here. I would edit the post. I would use an in text link to link this post back up to the top of my silo. Okay, I have to butt in here for a quick second to make sure something's abundantly clear all of your sub posts that are linking up to and supporting the top of your silo need to link to each other. Now, when I originally publish my content, I'm always internal linking my relevant posts with each other, which is why I didn't say it in the initial recording, but I thought that could maybe get lost in translation. Again, be sure to watch the other video where we're on the whiteboard so you can see me draw out the linking structure. And I'm gonna go right back into the spreadsheet with you here. So the top of my silo is here which means this post not only links up to my silo, but it needs to also link to another post in the silo. This post here will link up to the top of my silo and it will link to the next post in my silo. You wanna let relevance kind of run and guide you on these different links when you're internal linking between your posts, but always each post needs to have one link out and one link in so it can be guaranteed to get crawled by the spiders. Had to butt in and make sure that was abundantly clear. Enjoy the video and be sure to catch the other one. Cheers. And that's really the process. It's actually quite simple. Um, I did not add the 
the kind of tag linking on the top of my blog roll. I didn't do that myself. I hire, I have a developer who's in the Philippines who does that for me. You can hire someone on Fiverr, potentially definitely on Upwork. You can find someone to create and modify your child theme for you. But the really, really big idea here is that you want to eventually get where you're organizing the core content pieces in the silo structures you learned in the other video. You identify which post is the top of the silo, and then you identify all of the other posts that that you've already created, which are relevant and supporting ideas to that top silo post. Then you go in, you edit them, you make sure each of them have a link back up to the top of your silo. And one by one, you go through each of those silos inside of each of those tag categories you created, and you are able to create little micro webs of links that the search engine spiders will pick up on. They'll read, they'll realize when you start linking all of your different SEO posts up to that one learn SEO post, they understand through your internal linking structure what post on your site is the most relevant to the phrase SEO or learn SEO. And you do this so on and so forth. If you're in the gardening niche, you go back through your posts and you find your main core categories, set up your tagging system, and then identify your sub silos within that. And you can then interlink them all together to boost up your posts, your, your container gardening, your greenhouse gardening, whatever those key core kind of categories are, you identify the best post you have that you want to rank for those short tail keyword phrases, then you go into all your other supporting content and you link it back up to the top. That is it. I hope you found this video to be helpful. It takes a lot of time working through these spreadsheets, but it's ultimately going to make for a better user experience for your users. It's going to make for a better experience for the search engine spiders. It should get you increased rankings in the search engines, which means more traffic and more leads for you. That's the ultimate goal. That's how you grow a successful business online. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like this style where we've shown you within the spreadsheets and in actually on the computer working, leave me a comment. Let me know if you enjoy learning in this style of video so I know to make more of these videos for you. Uh, any questions, you can get at me in the comments below. But ultimately, I thank you very much for your time. Be sure to subscribe. I got another video coming out in a couple of days. And if you haven't seen my free course yet, be sure you click on the little book that pops up here on the end screen. You can get my free seven step process from side hustle to million dollar business. Uh, just click on that and you'll get it free on my site. And there's uh, it's all waiting there for you. All the information is out and available to you. It requires taking a lot of action and my channel, my videos, my free course are all designed to help you take the right action to create a successful business online. I thank you very much again for your time. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Till then, be well.